3D printing, laser engraving, CNC carving. Is it possible to do all of these tasks using one machine? Well, that's what we'll find out today when we're testing out the Snapmaker Artisan 3-in-1. This is a maker machine that features dual extrusion 3D printing, a 40 watt slash 10 watt laser, and a 200 watt CNC. Pretty cool! All in one case with a large work area, where you can create big or multiple objects. But how does it work? How difficult is it to put together? How easy is it to use? And what can you actually make with it? Let's dive in. If you're debating whether to get a 3D printer, a laser engraver, or a CNC machine, well, you may not have to make that choice because this machine, the Snapmaker, uh, has them all. So this came packaged really nicely in a couple of boxes. Ooh, look at all the tools. There are quite a few parts to this after all. But first up, main structure. We even had this, this foam board piece to help line everything up perfectly. All the pieces are metal and quite substantial. There are wires already built into a lot of the pieces. And yeah, I mean, assembly is required for this entire project, this entire unit, but a lot of the individual parts have already been assembled to a large degree. Here are the three heads. Of course, you only use one at a time. This is a magnet. Next up, we have the frame for the enclosure. We have light strips in all ready to go in some of these pieces. And the screens slide in. It's there are also these insulation rubber pieces to make it really airtight. And as you can see, the panels are orange with a protective coating for laser work. They're kind of big for inside the house. Wire management is pretty nice and there are a lot of wires since we have different systems for the 3D printing, the CNC, the engraving. It's a little hard. The 40 watt model comes with air assist. Uh, yeah, we have the air purifier, quite a few different parts really. It's stuck now. You can't get it off. Very cool. See? So the very first thing we are setting up here is the laser engraver. Okay. Very wow. cool. And this is the control system. What should we call it? Call it Supermix. Supermix. <laughs> oh. It's all done by touchscreen. Um, and this unit here basically makes everything work within this one system. Do more, invest less, your move. That is the uh, inspiring message behind this machine where Snapmaker is really inviting people to, to take charge and be more creative. Um, and of course, with something like this, you have your choice in terms of material and projects. Now, when I first saw a picture of this, I thought, you know, that it would be pretty big. I didn't realize just how deep it is. It is quite deep. In terms of, of depth, um, it is a little bit more than three feet, about 37 inches, and about two feet wide, with this being 28 inches high. And in terms of the, uh, the interior space in here, we have 400 millimeters cubed, which is uh, a decent size for 3D printing. You can 
you know, build something quite large. Normally that wouldn't really be important when it comes to laser engraving or CNC work. Um, however, I can imagine a situation where you might want to engrave something rather large, which wouldn't be possible with other laser engravers, at least not ones that I have tried. Because it is so deep, we do need a deep table. I have it on the stand here. It hangs a little bit over the edges, which seems to work fine. Maybe not absolutely ideal. Um, and I have drawers in here. Now the way this works is you switch out the heads. So we have a head for 3D printing. We have a CNC module head and currently we have the laser engraver head. Um, so de basically depending on what you want to do, you switch out the head and you also switch out the bed that you are doing the work on. So to engrave here, we started out with cutting and engraving a square and a protractor, which I think did a very nice job. They turned out beautiful, very crisp. We have a class one laser that is 40 watt, um, and we don't need to wear any glasses when using it because we have the case which is covered. The case is also very nice when it comes to 3D printing, it keeps the temperature nice and even. Um, normally. Uh, CNC machines do not have covers, but you know, keeps the dust uh, contained as well. So there are a couple of different things with the 3D printer. Having a dual head is certainly nice. That way you can have two different colors or different materials going. So that opens up a lot of possibilities. Look at that, oh, yeah, like it'll twist out. So what can we use it for? How about a place to hold tweezers? That's kind of cool. In terms of testing the CNC head, uh, we cut out this little puzzle thing from their website using MDF. They have a clamping system here to hold the work in place. The only thing when cutting MDF is it gets a bit dusty in there. And at this point, we have tried each one, gone between laser engraving, 3D printing, um, and cutting using the CNC head. It is kind of interesting being able to do all of this within the space. Now you may think, okay, this is rather large, this takes up a lot of space. And yeah, I agree with you, um, but if you're debating about which one should I get, this obviously takes up less space than having three individual units. So with the, the control system here, you basically control everything with the machine, with X, Y, Z. Now when we do X, it moves this direction on the unit. Um, however, if you want to move it this way, it's the actual bed that moves. So more traditional uh, for a 3D printer unit. And then going up and down Z, obviously it's there's like fine controls here. You can do the 100 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 1 millimeter, or 0.1 millimeter for super fine controls. So this is when you're setting everything up. You're setting your workspace up. The next thing to try is the road attachment. So this is if you want to carve or engrave round things. Okay. 
So you secure the rotor on this plate and then the plate gets secured in the specific spot inside the unit. And we engraved one of their round boxes they sent along here. So it did a nice job. The files in the system are also context dependent. So if, for example, if you have different files that you're sending over, but you have the 3D printing head on, it will only bring up the 3D printing files. Well, so the machine is quite smart. It can sense, okay, now we're in the mode for laser engraving. Now we're in the mode for 3D printing, depending on the head. So this is where it always starts. Now we want to do something, we hit start. And here it brings up our files. So, so currently we have the laser engraver head on and it brings up some laser engraving files that we've been working on. So one of the files in the system is this project that we just cut out, a little square and a protractor. Now this control system here, it is quite a nice unit. We have a lot of connections in the back that lock in place very solidly. So we have all the power connections in here to all the different heads, as well as the XYZ motors. Again, it's context dependent. So when you're doing laser engraving, this will send a signal to the, uh, the air assist, which is right here. And it will turn this on um, as well as the air purifier. The air purifier is quite sleek. It has a light here. So in terms of controlling this, you can either do a direct computer control or you can do Wi-Fi, or it can act independently without a computer if you just provided it the files. So after you do CNC work, you can see that there's a lot of dust around, but that's okay because all the X, Y, and Z rails are protected within here. So they are not affected by the dust. Of course, it clings to the, the, the cover. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about this machine in the comments below. There is a link if you want to check it out further. Um, yeah.